because I'm studying in financial engineering, uh, run a business, I think it's totally different. MCO 1.0 is coming. Earn a lot of friendship. Hi, my name is Kelvin. Uh, actually, I'm graduate in 2014. My convocation is 2014. I want to say about campus life. I think it's quite a uh, fulfillment. Uh, it's quite memorable uh, because usually, uh, usually I used to stay in HP1 in hostel. Yeah, so if I if in my memory, HP1 they still have a uh, Western food. Yeah, it's very nice because I also Chinese language society president. So in campus life during that time, actually it's quite often we organize some events and we have to gather with our peers in FIT CLS room to prepare, do the preparation and everything. MMU campus life actually is a very good place because they have a swimming pool. It's a very Olympic standard uh, swimming pool and also with the basketball court. I usually play with my friends and doing gyms over there uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, because I'm studying in financial engineering, this is the only course that offer in Cyberjaya. That's, that's why I go to Cyberjaya to have my uni university. I, when I graduated in 2014, actually I get an offer in, from Singapore. It's, at, uh, it's a Singapore bank called United Overseas Bank, UOB. So during that time when they offer is personal banker. So when I get the offer, I was wondering see whether they want to take this opportunity to go to Singapore or want to uh, maybe stay in Malaysia. The reason that I take a move to Singapore, one, one, one of the main thing is the currency. <laughs> For sure, it's a currency. As I mentioned, during university life, we do many activities with friends, everything. A few of my close friends, they also take the opportunity to go to Singapore. So during that time, I was uh, also thinking that, because actually my wife, now it's my wife, that time is still girlfriend, she's also in Singapore. So that's why I also take a move from, take the opportunity to go to to Singapore to join United Overseas Bank as a banker. Because for my background studying in financial engineering in Cyberjaya is related to banking line. Uh, so during that time I go to Singapore in 2014, I working in with UOB is for roughly about two years. I used to stay in Clementi in Singapore, uh, used to stay over there. So after two years and I get another opportunity to go to Bank of China, Singapore. Yeah, it's also a banking, it's just from UOB changed to Bank of China. Yeah, so during that, uh, over when I take a move to Bank of China, it's another rule. Lah. But it's still in banking line. The one is uh, handling those uh, VIPs customers, like from Singapore, from China, and from Malaysia. So during that time, in, actually i quite lucky because when I go to Bank of China, I get to know many of uh, customers and at the end become friends. So i working in Bank of China, I, I decided to come back to Malaysia is on 2018 because used to be in Singapore for more than four years already and also I get, actually I get a PR over there but why I take a move from Singapore back to Malaysia is because our route is over here, it's Malaysia so no matter how far you go, at the end we still have to come back to this country to contribute and also at the same time my mother's this uh, Ama Holiao is uh, planned to expand. Yeah, so that I take the opportunity to come back on 2000, end of 2018. I think it's not easy to take a decision that to let go a uh, huge pay to, and coming back to start a business, business because for business it's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. So when I coming back to Malaysia in 2019, when during that time my uh, my family member is also all is still in this company. During that, that time, I actually take more than one year to understand this industry. Because for me, I'm a financial background. For FMB experience, yeah, I have like before my before I go to Singapore. Actually, during the school university time, when during holiday sem break, yeah, for sure is coming back to the, to help 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 for the family to, to do some uh, operation uh, in FMB. But if you want to uh, run a business, I think it's totally different. Because the thing that you have to know, like who is your supplier, what is the price and everything, uh, what is the operation, how you manage to control the cost, 
and the food quality, everything. So during that time, I actually take really more than one year. It's not say a clear picture, but it's just a some concept how to run a F&B business. So, but uh, it's quite unlucky because after I get used to oh, this is F&B, then MCOs come. So when we start to plan to do some expansion and in 2020, we already uh, shortlist a few places and we pay the deposit for the expansion for new shop lot. MCO 1.0 is coming. <laughs> so we forfeit our rental, everything for the expansion. We have to we have to pull back everything because during that time when MCO start, we're not sure how long. Actually we thinking about or oh, maybe one week, two weeks. Yeah, but end up is months and years. So during that time, at the worst scenario, we our bank account is only left for eight thousand with all the employees and everything. Actually, during this time, it's very, very tough, very, very tough. So, but luckily, after everything recovered, we managed to... Because during that time, during the MCO period, we also take many initiatives to do some offer to our customer, like uh, take away. So, we take the initiative to offer many customers to fill the Google form. This is what we learned last time in university activity, lah, to ask them to fill the Google form, to, to record down their numbers, everything. So. This actually helped us a lot during the pandemic. Yeah, because during the pandemic, no one is walking, walk into and cannot come out also. So we have the list for thousands. So we can calling, asking uh, whether you want to have a coffee, we can send over to your house, or you want to have a uh, nasi lemak, namakan da, uh, we, send, we can send over to your place. Uh, so to do this kind of uh, extra mouth service. So this helped us to overcome the first pandemic. So when it comes to the MCO 2.0, we are also lucky. During that time, many of shop lot, they cannot tahan already. So they let go their, their, their premises so that we get this opportunity to go into some places like Jalan Tun Tan Kera, Tun Tan Kera, the side, Jalan Tun Tan Chen Lok. We also get a place to run our second outlet. Yeah. So during that time, we also focus in theories. Uh, business and everything to help us to recover as soon as possible lah, during the time. I get married on 2019, uh, National Day, uh, 31st of August. Yeah. <laughs> After we married, get into MCO. So my wife, during that time MCO, she's still in Singapore. I'm in Malaysia. So we far distant for almost two years. In year 2022, she decided to resign from Singapore. She also uh, working in a bank also, uh, in Maybank, Singapore. Uh, so they decided to resign and coming back, live together. Lah. Other than that, uh, my family member, I have uh, parents and also I have two siblings, like a uh, family business. So when we want to do some uh, changing to some, some sort of like a small corporate, we have to go for corporate management style. Yeah, also during the time, have many activity and in cyber jaya. So we managed to do some changing for the working style, working method. Yeah, from a traditional Chinese man, like those kopitiam, to change to like a small corporate style. Yeah, because it's for, for corporate, it's, if you want to do some expansion or what, actually, is the way is different. Uh. For FMB, as an operator of FMB, uh, it's quite special because for our leisure time, is others' working day. Yeah, for others' holiday, is our working time. Yeah, so it's quite difficult for me to spending my time with my family because when my wife having holiday, I have to work hard to earn money. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I have a good team. So maybe some of the time that holiday, like last year for Chinese, uh, the last year New Year Eve, I managed to get a approval leave from my team <laughs> to have a holiday with my wife in Hong Kong. Other than those uh, travel, I also love to play badminton, uh, inspired by Dato Li Chong Wei. <laughs> yeah. During the university time, that, that year is I think, if not mistaken, is uh, London Olympic. After London Olympic. Nato Vira get a uh, silver medal. When he coming back from London to KLIA, we organize a, a car to go to KLIA to pick up Nato. 
really, really. If I can share the photo. <laughs> Some words to our MMU students during the uh, university life. Take the opportunity and more time spending in have your education wise. You can also join more events because I think actually I learned quite a lot from event organizing an event and dealing with uh, like state everything and with uh, SRC yeah so other than academic wise because for sure go to university you have to focus your academic but other than that uh, activity is also one of the part that it can help you to gain your knowledge which you can cannot get from the book and also you can uh, earn a lot of friendship many of, our, of my friends keep in touch is from all from the society and activities yeah, because we, we we can get some of the friendship is a lifetime thank you mmu uh, to having me in uh, this university all the best permata dunia